You have told us in your word, Father, that the voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth. The voice of the Lord strips the forest bare. And everyone in the temple cries, Glory. You remember Wilberforce, right? Decade after decade until he won the victory in the abolition of the slave trade in Britain. One of his enemies said about him, It is necessary to watch him as he is blessed with a very sufficient quantity of that enthusiastic spirit which so far from yielding that it grows more vigorous from blows. In other words, knock him down and he gets up strong. There are not many people like that in America. You knock a typical American down, what does he do? Number one, he feels self-pity and he whines. Number two, he says, where was God? And number three, he sues somebody. There are not many people like Wilberforce who you knock them down in a cause of righteousness. They're doing good and they get knocked down. They get up. I don't want to be a sprinter. I want to be a marathoner. I want to find the pace to finish the race. I don't want to drop over halfway through the cause and coast the rest of the way or just play and you don't either we want to be coronary marathon wilberforce like christians if you're going to be that kind of person who gets up when you're knocked down instead of planning revenge plans fresh strategies of love and justice. Instead of questioning God, you trust God, that he had a good purpose in your getting knocked down and he loves you and he'll turn it all for your good. Instead of whining, you rejoice in tribulation, come out refined like steel instead of consumed. If you're going to be that kind of person, this text says you have to learn a certain skill, namely how to kill sin. Your sin. Self-pity, pride, grudge holding, loving the praise of man. So if we're going to be coronary Christians, we're going to press on in love and joy. Where does that kind of person come from? They don't come out of nowhere. Wilbur forces do not come out of nowhere. You know where they come from? They come from furnaces. Where they've been knocked down and burned so many times that they've learned how to make war on the sins in their own heart that tend to rise up in response to that kind of treatment. The furnaces from which Wilberforce like Christians come is the furnace of war against sin fought mainly in our own souls.